What's going on guys, it's your boy Mr. Tuba back again and like your boy predicted we have got the Gareth Bale SBC. Now I might have been wrong on this and I don't know why but I don't know what's going through my head right now. I just had this feeling that I swear I thought his card was going to be 93 rated. Um, I might need to check, no 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 okay yeah. Completely wrong, ignore that. I did predict that his card was going to be 92 rated. But we have got the Gareth Bale SPC and I have been preparing for this and let you guys know that this was coming out for maybe quite a while now. So I think it was like, I literally said it was coming out like two, three days ago. So yay, we got Gareth Bale. I'm so happy I'm right. And I'm so happy that obviously they released it. And no one, because I remember when they released the Fasalico SPC yesterday, everyone was on my back saying, yo, Tuba, where's Bill? Where's Bill, bro? Yo, yo, where's Bale? You wrong. <laughs> but you know, your boy pulled through in the end. I mean, we have got a Gareth Bale SPC. And I'm going to go out and say it, man. This card looks insane. Insanely good right now. Insanely good. Like, just looking at the stats, guys, would you guys reckon? Now, the only bad thing I can see is the fact that he's got three-star weak foot. Um, stat for stat, though. We all know that Gareth Bale's normal card is overpowered when it comes to heading. And that being said, other than that, guys, like, the only thing I could nitpick is maybe his aggression and balance. But pretty much every other stat is on point. And that 95 jumping is phenomenal right there. It does really make the difference. Now, I can see already 0 out of 7 SBCs needed. Um, and, yeah, you're going to need an 88-rated team. I'm assuming and I'm honestly hoping that you're going to need Cruz. Um, but I could be wrong, but I'm assuming and I'm hoping, really I'm hoping that you're going to need Cruz because I've literally bought a ton of Cruises to put into this SPC and kind of prepare myself for when it came out. Now, looking at it, it does seem quite expensive. You're going to need an 85, sorry, an 84 rated team with two Real Madrid players um, with 85 chemistry, two team of the weeks. How many team of the weeks are we looking at? One, two, three, four, five, six... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, 13 Team of the Weeks, guys. So you, you are looking at 13 Team of the Weeks, which is ridiculous. Did I do Ibrahimovic? No, I didn't. i done his loan, and I've got a review out on my channel regarding his loan. I didn't really think... Do you know what? That little card, look at the... the um, the picture on it looks mad. Honestly, it does look crazy. I can't... I'm so impressed, but... Um, yeah, going back to the Ibrahimovic thing, I don't really, that's not, like, he doesn't suit the style of play I play, so I don't really think, like, not every player is for every team, so, um, yeah, Ibrahimovic is not a player that I really, I think he's a fantastic card, but he doesn't really suit my play. But going back to the Belt SPC, you get a rare gold pack, a small rare gold players pack, a rare election players pack, premium gold pack, mega pack, 45k pack, and a last but not least, a 50k pack. Now, like I said, you're going to need 12 Team of the Weeks, guys. 12 Team of the Weeks. This is going to be stupidly expensive. This might, like, I think when I released the leak for Bale, people were predicting 400 to, like, let's say on average 700k. But looking at what you need, you, we might be near enough hitting 800-900k at SBC. And that's ridiculous. That is honestly ridiculous. Now... Just bear with me, guys. I want to see if I made a bit of profit with Cruz. So, hopefully I have. If not, he might go up in a bit. But I just want to see how much his crew, how much Cruz is worth right now. Um, come on. Just any bit of profit on Cruz. I bought him for 66k. If I can make, even if it's like 70k, I'm, I'm good. Like, I, I'm kind of assuming I might. Okay, like, he has gone up. Okay, yes. Um... Not too much profit, if I'm completely honest. Not an immense amount of profit. But I've made profit nonetheless. I've, I bought a couple of cruises. Tell a lie, I bought a whole load. Um, I may have not have exactly made, made profit, to be fair. I might have made like a K on every cruise. <laughs> um, 73K. Uh, do you know what? I might just sell a bunch of them right now. 73, maybe at 74K. I think they will sell. Um, yeah, do you know what? I'm going to sell a few of them at 74k and see see where we're at after that. But 
I may have made maybe four or five K profit on a bunch of cruises. And like I said, I bought a whole load. Look, I bought one there for 63K to sell them for 74 isn't too bad. I did let you guys know as well. I did tell you guys, please buy some cruises. I reckon they will be needed for this SPC and he will probably go up. Um, so I'm going to sell quickly sell a few now. We'll look at the criteria. We'll look at the requirements and see whether or not um, I'll be doing it in this stream, basically. I will have a review up for this card, though, without a doubt. Like This card is immense, guys. Honestly, immense. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, 74K. Let's stick him up for 74. I watched it, but... I thought maybe you still did it. Nah, like, do you know what? Ibrahimovic wasn't really for me. Any other SPCs? So, I mean, he is selling for 74. Makes me kind of think maybe I can penny pinch a little bit more. Maybe get a little bit more out of him. Let's have a look. 75? Nah, all right. 74. I think 74 is good to go. 75 doesn't seem like they're really getting, really getting bought. But 74K... Maybe 73, depending on the cruise. Now, I am going to keep a few. If someone can, whoever's a mathematician right now in the chat, look, if, I'm, if, I'm, if I bought cruise for 66K and sold him for 74K, including EA tax, how much profit do I actually make? If there's anyone that's really good at maths right now, like, let me know. Um, I just want to have a good idea. Like, they do seem to be selling at 74K, which is nice. Um, and Inferior might might be like i don't want to the thing is i don't want to undercut or kind of put too many on the market at once because then everyone's going to do it um and he won't sell basically he just won't so everyone's just going to undercut each other for cruises so you have to when you are selling players and you've got a bunch of them take your time don't don't over flood the market with your same players because they'll just get bought so i'm going to put three up at the same time once three get bought we'll obviously sell some more Going back to the Bell SPC, are there any other SPCs out? I think there are Team of the Year challenges out. Um, let's have a quick look. I've favorited these, so they keep on coming up, which I don't like all the time. Um, so, looking at what's out, we've got Team of the Year challenges, Prime Election Players Pack, and another one for a Rare Election Players Pack, which is slightly better. So, okay, that's interesting nonetheless. 400, hey, my boy, who was this? Yetis, my boy, so 4.3k profit. I mean, it's not substantial. It's not going to change my gameplay completely, but probably made like 80k, 80, 90k in a matter of like five minutes. So essentially not too bad, considering that I weren't going to obviously use the coins at the moment. Not too bad. But yeah, other than that, guys, we've literally just got the Bale SPC. Now, of course, you can do his loan which will probably require an 85 rate, no, 83 rate team. Nice, perfect there. And other than that, do you know what I might do? I might be more inclined to do his loan first and then do the SPC. Ah, do you know what? Let's do the SPC. I do want this card in all honesty. I really do. Um, I think the stats look amazing. Generally, generally do think the stats look amazing. Let's have another look. 95 accelerate, like he's going to be rapid. You don't need a hunt on him. Maybe a cheeky hawk, I don't know, but shooting 93 shot, and I've said this before, anything, in my opinion, anything over 85 shot is good. Anything over 90 or 90 is immense, but 93 just sounds beastly. Um, obviously, I mean, 90, 93 shots, godly. Um, what does he not have? Penalties doesn't really matter. And other than that, dribbling's nice, besides his balance is a little bit wayward. And aggression, I mean, yeah, I think I think this card looks good, man. I honestly do. Kick about, kid, shout out to you, man. Hopefully you've, uh, you're new to the channel. Maybe you subscribe. How are you going to Icon Craft as well? Are you going to Icon Craft as well? Do you know what? I was thinking about doing that. I've been seeing that a lot recently. Um, and that's what I have been thinking. He probably will cost a meal, by the way. Try and get Team of the Year Mbappe. Honestly, that was the goal. Mbappe was the goal. And, yeah, I'm a little bit... I don't know whether I should go for this bail card. Um, and I apologize if I'm screaming right now. I'm a little bit excited. Yeah, I don't know if I should go for the bail card or possibly wait and see if I can get Mbappe. I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place because bail looks n nice and is affordable and obviously out for a certain amount of days. But if I do that, I definitely won't be able to afford a Mbappe. 
Um, but with the Mbappe thing, it's a little bit of a risk because I don't know if I will be able to afford him overall. So I don't, a little bit like, like that's why I'm saying I'm a little bit confused on what I should do. Um, Mbappe obviously a superior card. Like, let's not walk around and beat around the bush, but he definitely is a superior card. But whether or not um, he's worth it is a different different ball game entirely. Uh, how many? 70? Okay, so there's a lot more cruises on the market now. A lot of people are selling their cruises. That's fine. They're like, sell your cruises. I'm all good for that. Assuming, I don't think I bought every single one. For 66k, I might have though. Wow, too bad. 63k there, that's not too bad. 66k, yeah, I think I bought every single cruise. 62, that's nice. But near enough, six. I should have, if I was a bit smart, I should have tried to snipe a few. At least you just went on there and bought a few, um, a ton of them straight away. Yo, Sam, how you doing, my man? Now, I got team of the year, Kevin De Bruyne. Let me know, is he good? Is Kevin De Bruyne actually good? Um, what I might do though, just to be maybe a little bit cheeky this stream, let's let's see what we have to do for um, bail and how much it's roughly going to cost because that's going to be the main con main point in all of this. If he's way too expensive, definitely not worth doing. But if he's not, then you know what, it might be worth doing. But it honestly does depend. Right now, man, guys, right now, let me just tell you, right now, Bale is actually set at over 1 million coins. And that is ridiculous. Over 1 million coins, in my opinion, I honestly don't. Hands hands up, like, I don't think for a million coins, Bale was worth it. A million! 1 million! Like, that's a lot of coins. You can get some beastly players for a million coins. Um, let me just have a look to see whether or not there's any more icons out. But like for a million coins, you are looking at icon level, icon level cards. So what I might do is probably try out his loan first. And this is what I probably would recommend for you guys. Wait for that review as well. I'm going to have a review up full bail. But trying out his loan first might be a smarter option. That being said, um, if you guys are watching, I'm going to show you guys a cheap way of doing this SBC. But over a million coins, guys. One million. I mean, it is a beastly card. I can't deny that. But a million coins is a bit like, oi, what are you doing? So, all right, to start it all off, the first SBC will cost you around 110k. So, um, this is what you're going to have to do. I'm just going to put the players in, show you guys what you're going to have to do. But what I want you guys to do is let me know in the chat, honestly, how much do you think bail for you would be worth doing? If it was a certain amount of coins, how much, what's the most you would pay for this card, basically? What is honestly the most amount of coins you would pay for this card? Now, obviously, if you've got a few players in your squads, or maybe in your team, sorry, and you could potentially do this card for a lot cheaper, then great, it works out for you, but... I don't know. I think that being said, though, out of all of the current uh, Team of the Year nominee players that we've received, I do genuinely think, because um, we've, who did we get? We got Rakitic, uh, not Rakitic, we got, what's his name? We got David Silva, we got, and Fasalico, basically. And out of those two, I do think Bale's card is definitely the best, without a doubt. Like, I know it's the most expensive, but I would probably prefer more players like that than normal players, basically. Like, David Silva, I, I think it's a good card, but I don't really think a lot of people would be doing that SPC. Same with Bale, though. To a certain degree, I don't think a lot of people could afford to do Bale's SPC. I'm a little bit, a little bit shocked that it costs so much, though. In all honesty, a little bit shocked it costs that much. And we've not really got like a fixed price for it, but you're looking at around a million. Million, guys, wow. That's like, honestly, when you do consider it, you can get a, like a tradable, beastly card that, like like I said, is tradable. So it's a bit of a weird situation because you can either do that or, or not. Now, like I said, I'm going to show you the players I do put into the SBC. And this will cost you around 110k just for this part of the SBC. Um, so please bear that in mind. 
and then I will have a review up for Gareth Bale on my channel. So I will let you know my honest opinion on whether or not I think he's worth it. And I, one fact I always consider, guys, one factor, just to let you guys know if you've not seen a review from your boy before, one factor I always like to consider is price. And that plays a major impact because obviously a card can be really good, but let's say he cost 12 million coins. A lot of people won't be, aff be able to afford that, firstly. And I mean, it's not really worth it, in my opinion. For like 12 million coins is not really worth a reasonable amount for one player. But let me know, guys. What do you think this card's worth? Let let's have a look at the chat real quick. So, yo, 1.6 million, man. This is crazy. This is honestly crazy. My team of the year, Kevin De Bruyne, has 99 passing. I think Kevin De Bruyne's card looks godly as well as that team of the year card. Wow. So people are saying, um, just pack name and a 15k pack spending. 50 Yo, that's a decent pool then, my man. Um, Activision's gay. That's a cool name. 700k, 800k. People are saying, yeah, around 6700k, probably 700k is probably the average mark. But 1.6 million. What? That's taking the piss. Footbin must be trolling. Like, honestly, that that's ridiculous. 1.7 million for Bale. Gareth Bale, and I do think the card's good, but 1.7 million? <laughs> that's a joke. That is honestly a joke. Honestly a joke. Um, I don't know if that's correct, though, right now. I don't know if that's honestly correct. Now, moving on to the next part, which is a Liverpool SBC. Um, this will cost you around seven. I'll tell a lie. Wait, around seventy k to do. So again, obviously prices will fluctuate or maybe decrease depending on cheaper methods coming out or different players coming out or people going up and down in prices. So just bear that in mind, guys. We one point seven million. Ouch! Like ooh, that is legitly. You could buy a team of the year. <laughs> You could buy a cheeky Van Dyke and or Ramos or Varane. Now, obviously, one's a forward, one's like two, or the rest I mentioned, sorry, are defenders. But, I mean, I wouldn't really mind a cheeky Varane <laughs> or Ramos. You know what I'm saying, guys? Like, it's a bit of a, a bit of a shocker, that is, to be fair, to hear that. I, f I do think football might be trolling right now, though. I feel, feel like maybe they're a little bit delayed. But if that's the case... Anything over a million? If it's over 1.2 million, guys, wow. That might be the single-handedly most expensive SPC we got that's not Icon. And that's saying something, guys. I mean, stat for stat, though, you could probably compare it to an Icon, if we're completely honest. And which I actually might do. I actually might compare them to the nearest Icon. So what I want you guys to do is let me know a few icons that probably play on the right wing that are around the same rating and we'll compare them start for start and see whether or not the icon's worth it. So I'm talking about like players like George Best. We'll compare it to, compare it to George Best, for example. Um, I played with George Best though and I don't really like him if I'm completely honest. That guy does not play too well. Angus Gunn. What the hell is this guy's name? So yeah, the second part of the SPC, not as expensive, but around 70k. So yeah, please guys, let me know in the chat. Um, right wingers around the same, maybe price range or rating range, and we'll compare them. Let's have a look, comparing Bale to them, their card. Um, just so we can get an idea of whether or not it's worth it. I have mentioned before, guys, that, I mean, to be fair, you could probably pick up that cheeky Messi. Pick up a cheeky Messi for that amount. A UCL, UCL Messi, guys. So, mm, I don't know. Again, they are definitely going to play a lot different. UCL, I mean, Messi card does play a lot different to, let's say, someone like Bale's. Bale's probably going to be more for that that strength, that big player, heading, stronger player, while Messi's going to be more of a silky dribbler um, kind, kind of type player. So, they will play a little bit different. So yeah, guys, like I said, around, I'm not putting this UCL card in, but around 70k for the next SBC. Go through the players real quick.
when EA disconnects you from the servers and you went in, ah, oh, man, I hate that. actually happened to me the other day as well. Zlatan is a bargain. Yeah, in comparison to this, Zlatan is definitely a bargain. Glad I fin finished Stoich Cough yesterday. I bet the prices are going crazy. 100%. Cruise went up. Shout out. Shout out to my boy Dylan. Me and him both invested in Cruise. So shout out to you, man. Cruise, Cruise did go up. And for those of you that listen to your boy, invested in Cruise, that's great, man. Mbappe, that's another good player. Without a doubt, Mbappe is definitely a good player. All right, so we got best Figo Mbappe. That's who I'm going to actually compare. Um, that's who I'm going to compare both the cars to. The English is very clear and easy to understand, and I appreciate that. I mean, I am English, so... I mean, it would be a little bit embarrassing if, you know, you know, did not be able to speak English. Um... That's crazy. I'm going to have a quick look before I do this. Once I do this SPC, the next SPC, I want to have a quick look. Um, oh, snap. I built it by accident. I want to have a quick look to see whether or not my cruises have sold, basically. Now, the La Liga SPC, we're looking at a lot more expensive, guys. This is going to cost you around 200k to do. Stupidly expensive. Just And this is just one SPC. It doesn't even give you the best packs. Which is a little bit unfortunate. Bale doesn't give you the best packs. Um, which is, yeah. It would have been a lot better. It, honestly, it would have looked a lot more appealing. Let's say if they had maybe a uh, Ultima pack and a 100k pack. Cheekily, I mean, it might be asking for a lot. But obviously, this is like looking at icon kind of level of price. So, a cheeky 100k pack would have been nice. A cheeky uh, Ultima pack. Would have been very nice, especially for that 88 rated SPC. Um, Pjanic. I'm going to have to sell some more more cruises as well. I just want to make sure that I sell them during that hype. Because they are probably going to go a little bit lower, maybe throughout the day. Um, or I could be wrong, they might go up. But do you know what? I might as well sell while I have the chance, right? I don't want to risk that, that opportunity of him going down. And even if he does go up, I don't really lose nothing. So... Yeah, I'm going to sell him, try and sell majority of them right now. But yeah, who was saying it? I make around 4k profit per cruise. I have around 20 cruises, so that's around 80k. Literally made just by buying a few players. Um, it's quite nice. Recently, I've actually been making a good amount of profit on FIFA trading, man. Which is a little bit surprising for your boy, because your boy has made some really bad investments <laughs> in his time. Trust me, very bad investments recently. But as of my last probably two, I don't really make too many investments. I've probably made three altogether in FIFA. My first one, I bought a ton of Ozils for the Bamiyang SPC. And you know who went down? Ozils. <laughs> that wasn't, that was definitely not ideal. Um, I lost a ton of coins. I think I lost like around 200k. I'm telling a lie, maybe 100k. I might be exaggerating, but probably lost around 100k. Um, at the time of FIFA, like, near enough still kind of being new, 100k was a lot of money, without a doubt. I'm not saying it isn't now, but a lot more back then. It felt like a lot more. Um, now, I invested in, who was it? Anatovic. I made 200k on that, literally, um, on that Wednesday when Team of the Week dropped. Probably make around 80k on cruises. Not, not too bad, neither. So, yeah, around 280k profit, man. Not too bad. What if you guys do ever want me to make maybe a potential um trading tip video? Let me know in the chat and I might get to going with that. But then again, I do let you guys know regardless when I stream as well. Who should I put purchase team of the year, Van Dyke or Marcelo? I would go for that Van Dyke. If I'm completely honest, Van Dyke looks beastly. Basically, for people who don't have a million coins, you're stuck with Bale's normal card. <laughs> Yeah, basically, you're stuck with Bale's normal card, which will probably go down considering this card's up. So maybe give it a few minute, uh, hours or something. Let's see what happens regarding that. I lost around 300k in Team of the Week uh, upgrades. Yeah, do you know what? Those Some Team of the Weeks, um, some SBCs just don't make you money at all. And it's a little bit frustrating. Oh, okay, so my cruises haven't sold. And hey... Cheebon, what's happened? Has he gone really down? Is he going back down? Alright, do you know what? 
uh, let's just sell him for 69k. I saw the ones that. Let's lay, let's just sell him for 69k. But he has gone up. Nonetheless, he's gone up. I probably made a bit of profit, um, which is always nice. Let's get rid of him. Don't want to, don't really want these cards in your club for too long. Like I said, they will probably go down. Um, so sell as many as I can now. See what happens. What's basically happened right now, people are probably undercutting each other a little bit too much. Um, it might be worth me waiting a bit. So I might keep maybe five or six. See what happens. Let's see how the market goes. Um, everyone's putting their cruises up right now, as you can tell, though. So I might leave maybe four or something. But again, if I put too many up for that amount of coins, they're not really going to sell. So let's see what happens. But everyone that wants to do Gareth Bale will probably need Cruyff. Uh, Cruyff? Cruyff, I was going to say. Damn, Cruyff. You're probably going to need Cruyff for David uh, Gareth Bale. Uh, where's he gone, though? Wait till 2 p.m. Prices fly. That's true as well. KKBB. I might, I might actually have to. I might, for the rest of them, I might wait. You told us, mate, about but I told you guys, your boys, your boys got somewhat a bit of uh, credible sources. I told you guys a couple of days ago that we were gonna get the bill SBC. I showed you guys the card and I told you what to invest in. So can't you know you gotta you gotta give the video a thumbs up for that one, guys. Yo, Bale, how uh yo, I was gonna say yo bail, how much is the SP uh tuba SPC? No, yo tuba, how much is the bail SPC worth to complete? You're looking at around two million man. Um, one point something million guys, or over a million coins to complete this SBC right now. Um, ridiculously high. Now the Premier League side of it, um, you're looking at a million coins, in all honesty, round about a million coins. The Premier League side is gonna cost you around 210,000 coins as well. I mean, yeah, it is very, very expensive. Looking at how many team of the weeks are needed in general, like if you looked like when I looked, at how many team of the weeks? I think it was twelve team of the weeks needed. You already know that the the um, SPC is going to be expensive. Well, twelve team of the weeks, you already know it's going to be expensive. When you see an eighty-eight rated squad as well, you're like, oh wow, that's crazy high, um, crazy high. Now, like I said, guys, I'm gonna have a review out for bail. Like that's gonna be the main thing right now. I'm gonna have a, a legitimate, honest review out for bail. I'm going to consider how much this SPC costs and I'm going to let you guys know honestly what I think about the card, whether or not it's worth it. If it's not worth that a million coin mark, then I'm going to tell you guys, name you a few alternatives you could probably get that play just as good. Like, let me know in the chat as well. What do you think of, what do you guys think of best? Out of curiosity, I've played with best. I've got him in my team right now while I'm playing foot champs. Little banter foot champs as I call it. Um... And I don't think, in my honest opinion, I don't actually like Best too much. He he performs well. He does what he does. Like, his shot's not too bad, but his passing is just like... You look at the guy and you're thinking, you're an icon. Why, why are you passing so bad? And just, like, from the way I play, there's nothing more frustrating for a player that just can't pass. It's ridiculous, like, when a player can't make those easy balls just because, like... Regardless on how good their shot is, regardless on how good their positioning is, someone that just can't pass annoys the crap out of me. It's like, especially when you're raging or you're losing and you just got players that can't pass. Like, oh man, that's annoying. <laughs> Honestly, it is annoying. Um, I'm not going to say this guy's name because you can technically make a joke out of <laughs> it. Do you know what I realised? I've just realised the reason for the fact that they've got two... Team of the week players, when you look on concert player, I just realized what it could be. It could be one of them is classed as the red foot champs card. I just, potentially it could be that. I've been moaning about that for a while, so I just kind of crossed my mind what it could potentially be. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, this Premier League SPC will cost you around 210k. Again, very expensive. What I would say is maybe wait. Let the fact that Bale's SPC has sunk in to a lot of people, because there's going to be a lot of people that are just going to do this straight away. Give it a few moments, and then if you do want to do it, check out my review. That's going to be 
that's going to be my deciding factor as well. Like, I'm going to play with his card, see whether or not he's good. If he's not good, I'm not going to tell you guys to buy it, of course. I'm going to give him a low rating. But at the very least, it's going to be the most honest review you're going to get. Probably on YouTube, honestly. I feel like a lot of people lie. And I'm not shouting out any names, but Atani, your boy Pokemon Atani, he, I call him Pokemon Atani still, but Atani lies, I'm telling you, when he makes reviews, this guy, every title is like, this guy should be banned, this guy is illegal. <laughs> and I'm like, nah, this guy fooled me a couple of times buying a few players, um, which is not nice. But yeah, I'm going to have an honest review out for you guys. Now, the Spanish SBC will be the most expensive and this is going to cost you around 300k to do, guys. 300,000 coins to do. I'm, I'm going to put it, I'm going to say it like that because it sounds like a lot more. <laughs> Rather than say 300k, we're going to say 300,000 coins. I'm going to say 1,000, what is it? 1,000 thousand coins for bail, guys. Wow, that's a lot of money right there. 1,000 thousand coins. <laughs> I don't know if that's how you not don't say it or not, but I'm just going to call it 1,000, 1,000 coins. So 1,000, 1,000 coins there for Gareth Bale's SPC, over 1,000, 1,000 coins. <laughs> um, in order to gar do Gareth Bale's SPC. But yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm going to play out, play with his loan, um, let you guys know whether or not I think it's worth it, and see what happens after that. Quickly read this chat. Bayo SPC was me and the cruise was me. Nah, the cruise was me, man. I credit myself. That was all me. Uh, to be fair, the Bayo SPC was Dylan. Shout out to you, Dylan. <laughs> Is Fasalico worth it? I don't really... I think if you've got a Serie R team, it would be worth it. If you don't, um, I don't think it's worth it. It depends on... Honestly, it all depends on who you have at left back. Who you've already got at left back. Like that's, that's, like, that's my question to you. Who have you currently got at left back? And I'll let you know if it's worth doing. Only 900k on Zlatan. Wait, that's a lot of money on Zlatan, though. Probably announce. Kayams. Yeah, probably. He probably is. Scam that bail. Maybe. Maybe he is a scam. When's your next giveaway? Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the next giveaway. Maybe on Monday. We'll start doing it on Monday. We'll continue the 30k giveaways on Monday. I did say... Um, Every time we hit 1,000 subscribers, so from 3,000 to 4,000, we're going to do 30k giveaways. And then 4,000, we're going to do 40k giveaways. Once we hit 5,000, we might have to switch it up because that's a good landmark. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. But from Monday, we'll start continuing doing those giveaways. Don't worry, guys. I got you. Um, Sergio Robuskets, or Biscuits, as I call him. Mr. Biscuits over there. Go over there. We've got Perrin. Very expensive though, very. I'm, I'm honestly still in a little bit of shock. And I'm not just saying it for the sake of saying it, but I'm in a little bit of a shock to find out how expensive this SPC is. Ah, do you know what, at the same time though, I got this feeling, right? I honestly have this feeling, and let me know if you got the same feeling, guys. But I got this feeling that this bail card's gonna be godly. Like, it's gonna be an Egyptian god card level. Like, Egyptian god card. That is gonna be Gareth Bale right now. I got a feeling. That guy's just going to be so good. Um, so I'm very excited to try him out. I'm so excited. Um, but if he's not good, I'm going to be a little bit disappointed, if I'm completely honest. i got high hopes for this card. With Ibrahimovic, I had really high hopes as well, man. Ibra, I was like, when I reviewed that guy, I was like, yeah, do you know what? My gameplay is going to change. I'm going to be that annoying guy who crosses into the box consistently. And Ibra is just going to score. It just wasn't the case. <laughs> I was so excited for that card. Unfortunately, like just the way I play, maybe I just don't know how to cross. I've never really been a crossing type in FIFA, this FIFA, without a doubt. I'm more of a dribbler slash passer, slash finessing outside the box now, I guess. But I had such high hopes with, with Ebro. If you guys are good at crossing, let me know how, what's the best way to cross, if there's a little tactic to it, um, because I just don't know how to. Now, like I said, that Spanish SPC, let me go through the players real quick, will cost you around 310k. Crazy expensive. Now, we've only got two more SBCs left. Um, and again, the English one's going to cost you around 300k as well. So we might be looking at Gareth Bale being 
Definitely is the most expensive card that we've received yet. <laughs> I can't remember. In all honesty, I can't. I'm not even saying it for the sake of saying it. I cannot remember if you did or you didn't. Um, I'm pretty sure I said Cruz. I'm pretty sure I said buy Cruz. But we'll find out. I did let you guys know as well to buy Cruz. I let you know in the last stream. I was like, yo, guys, buy a pack, bunch of Cruises. But whether or not I make a substantial amount of profit now is a different situation. Um, so we'll find out. So moving on to the English SPC, it will cost you around 300k. Um, and we are definitely looking at one of the most expensive non-icon SPCs we've received this FIFA thus far. I can't remember anyone else. And please, if I'm wrong, refresh my memory. I can't remember another SPC costing around this much. Substantially overpriced, potentially, guys. I might might go out and say, realistically, Bale is overpriced right now. Which hurts me to say, because I do think his card is nuts. Um, but again, let's see what that, that review is saying. Let's just see what that review is saying. I'm not going to say anything more regarding whether or not Gareth Bale is going to be good or not. I'm just not going to say it. I'm going to play with him. There's so many cards that may look good on paper that perform well and vice versa. There might be cards that don't look too good at pay on paper um, and perform like beasts. Um, an example of that is when everyone used Mandzukic's Inform. In my opinion, I didn't think that card looked too good on paper. Obviously, stupidly overpowered when it came to heading. <laughs> right at that beginning of the game, that was the most annoying thing ever. The amount of people that had inform Manzukic. Oh my lord. Even Ben Yedda, another player that constantly scores headers at, like, at the beginning of FIFA. That guy constantly used to score headers against me. Not anymore. Not anymore. The boy made sure that he got two defence. Saying that, he used to have Aspilicueta in defence. So, mm, not the best idea, you know, when you're conceding a lot of Heading goals to have Aspilicueta in your defense. He used to be, he, Aspilicueta is a really good defender, though. I will say that. He's a really good defender. Unfortunately, just not that tall. If he was, he would have been such a good card. That's the only thing, in my opinion, that lets down Aspilicueta. Guys, I got this theory, and let me know if, what you guys think, though. I have this honest theory that as soon as better, better cards come out in FIFA, the cards that were, let's say, okay or overpowered before that, they get, they still feel like they're nerfed. They start getting crap on. I don't know why that is. I feel like ever since Team of the Year has come out, the cards are not performing the way they used to. Certain cards are just, certain good cards are not performing. And this is obviously a bit of a uh, reach, but I genuinely feel like they nullify certain cards in FIFA, guys. I do genuinely feel like that. I don't know why. Uh, my biggest example is Fred. And, like, just in past FIFAs, you have, right at the beginning of the game, you have a ton of overpowered players that everyone uses and are really good. And now, you don't get that so much because, like, players like Fred are actually crap. They feel crap. And I don't know why that is. Like, if you ever played with, like, Fred or Dembele or something at the start of FIFA, they were actually really good players. Now, I I wouldn't, like buy neither of them guys you know what this spc is going to cost way over a million i just never realized until just now because the last spc will cost you around a hundred and forty thousand coins so this is costing way over one million coins way over one million wow um that's crazy oh my god i literally said if we know bay was coming out we should buy maybe you did then i'm gonna let you have it i let you have it i let you have it dylan i let you have it um Yo, Zlatan, how you doing, my man? How you doing, man? I didn't know. I didn't know Zl Zlatan watches too, but that's crazy, man. Shout out to the god Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Um, so we got Neymar watching these videos before. We had we had Drake. Who else did we have? We probably had like other players. I don't even know. But Zlatan, man, welcome to the stream. Hopefully you do subscribe, my man. So EA are crazy. So meant coins for 92 rated non-icon yeah now 100 percent. this is ridiculously overpowered when is the la liga spc coming out that's a good point because we don't know who we're going to get for la liga i mean who would i like for la liga i probably would like maybe 
who would I like for La Liga? Guys, actually, no, you guys let me know. Who would you guys honestly like for La Liga's SBC? I can't think of a player. Maybe Griezmann, but I can't imagine us getting a cheeky Griezmann card. Um, yeah, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Normally, I would have said Gareth Bale, but seeing as we got this, I can't imagine that we're going to get another Bale card. Um, so, like I said, guys, last but not least, the final SBC will cost you 340 k and this SBC is looking at being over 1.5 million, if I'm completely honest. 1.5 million at ease. Very expensive. Very, very expensive. I'm still in shock, in all honesty. I'm honestly I'm shocked how much this is. And I'm hoping that my uh cruises have sold. <laughs> Arsenal, oh, don't get me started on Arsenal, guys. I'm looking at Mkhitaryan and thinking, damn. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, let's not talk about Arsenal's performance today, please. I don't like Unai Emery, though. I'm just going to throw it out there. As an Arsenal supporter, I do not like Unai Emery. Um, and anyone that supports Arsenal, let me know what you think, man. I've never really liked him. I wasn't happy when we got him. I don't think it was a good buy. I don't think he's a good manager. I never did. And here we are. I'm going to support the team, nonetheless, but I don't support Kroenke. I don't support, don't really support Unai Emery, neither, but I'm going to support the team. That's just my opinion on Arsenal. <laughs> just throw that in this stream right there and then. Um, so moving on, guys. Like I said, this is going to cost 350k, now enough, 340k. And yeah, this, this SPC is looking at, looking out to be one of the most expensive non... Now, definitely, not even one. It is definitely the most expensive non-icon SBC ever um, that we've ever received this FIFA, which is crazy. And last but not least, we're going to put Neuer in gold, which is ironic because not many SBCs have needed Cruyff. Um, why do I keep saying Cruyff? No, Cruyff. None of the methods I actually did show showed needed Cruyff, which is funny. I hope you concede four penalties to miss out on silver one. You think I'm silver one worthy? Nah, man. I go way past silver one, my man. <laughs> you're like, oh, you're funny. And I know who that is, by the way. That's funny. Um, what is your favorite player and club? My favorite player is Ozil. Um, actually, nah, tell a lie. My favorite player is probably Messi. But at Arsenal, it's probably Ozil and I support Arsenal. If you, for those of you that don't know, um, yeah, that's just a fun fact. Um, but yeah, guys, that is literally that SBC done. None of my cruises have sold, which is a little bit disappointing. I probably should sell him for less, but I'm going to see what happens. I'm going to see what happens regarding these cruises. I'm not going to panic too much. Why is Socrates there? Left back Socrates. Wait, what? Yo, Jamie Snows, how you doing, my man? I support Tottenham. Hey, Riley. Like, I'm one of those Arsenal fans that don't actually have a problem with Tottenham. So, hopefully we can still get along. Ozil is awful. I love Ozil, though. I love, I genuinely do love Ozil. Watching Arsenal is at least more entertaining than under Wenger. Um, uh, do you know what? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I do genuinely think if Wenger had this current team, it might be a different story. I don't know. Who knows? Who's to say, really? Um... Yeah, Arsenal is like a, uh, hurts my heart, so I'm not, I don't want to talk about Arsenal, guys, it makes me depressed. Let's talk about Gareth Bale. Oh my God, the SBC is so expensive, what the hell? Um, <laughs> my current foot champs team, I might just put Bale there, put Balak here, I don't know what I'm going to do. Might put Bale up front, who knows? Um, but this is my current foot champs team, I'm just messing around, I'm not even, not even taking foot champs seriously this week. Even though I still will rage, I'm not taking foot champs too seriously. What did Bilal say? Can someone help me? Uber or Aguero? In my opinion, Aguero. Without a doubt. In my opinion, definitely Aguero. But a lot of people might say um, Abamyang. But I'm going to say Aguero. But guys, 
That is the Gareth Bale SPC complete. I want you guys to let me know as soon as this video is posted whether or not you think it's worth spending over 1 million coins for him. We still haven't got an exact price for the SPC. Um, let's see if it has been updated on Footbin. Hopefully it has. Probably not. Mm, no, it hasn't as of yet. So, yeah, guys, let me know in, in, this, uh, in the comment section once this video is posted whether or not you think Gareth Bale is worth it. But as of right now, I'm going to get to doing this review for Gareth Bale and I'm going to let you guys know whether or not I think generally he's good or bad. If you haven't already, make sure you like the video, subscribe, put your notifications on if you are interested in other streams or maybe that review that comes out. Um, so make sure you put your notifications on. Other than that, Tuba out. Peace.